competitive, that we will be a challenger in every single game, and we're going to take each game um, as it comes. But obviously we felt that uh, we had to make certain playing changes, um, and we feel that we accomplished those during the off-season, and we go into uh, this uh, season with what I consider to be the best balanced um, and best qualified team. If we go back one year ago, I think many of us who followed the Spirit were looking for either a better or an improved season. And that would have been tough to do because 1983-84 was a great year for the Spirit. Their record was 32-16, and 16, only two games out of first place, and they lost a tough playoff series to the Cleveland Force. Along the way, they compiled some impressive individual and team stats. But the 1984-85 campaign was a complete turnaround. It started with the shocking and untimely death of assistant coach Mickey Cave. That's right, John, but it didn't just end there. The Spirit made moves during the offseason they thought to strengthen their club. They picked up three players from England. None of the three panned out. In fact, none of the three are with the present Pittsburgh Spirit team. Then there were some injury problems. The team was hard hit by injuries early in the season. They never had any consistency. They never won more than two games in a row. In all, the season turned into a nightmare for head coach John Kowalski, his players, and the fans. And that's when the front office decided to do something about it and make some drastic changes for this season. Seven new players have been added to the squad, and there is a brand new head coach. Well, obviously, at 19 and 29, we needed to make some changes, and obviously, we felt that uh, um, we do and did need new direction in our locker room and um, in the acquisition of coach Don Popovic this year. Um, we feel that we've brought to the club a leader that is second to none in the MISL. Um, he leads by example. Um, he leads uh, with a very authoritative, very confident approach. Um, I think that he knows the game better um, than anybody else in the league. He's the person who has masterminded many of the tactics that have been utilized in the MISL over the seven years and that he's been a coach in our league for seven years. And let's not forget just how close we came to having the name Spirit removed from the marquee here at the Civic Arena, as at one point, team owner Edward DeBartolo contemplated either relocating the club or folding it. And it almost happened, John, but the city and the county rallied around the cause, and so did the fans in keeping the Spirit right where they belong here in Pittsburgh. As one of the commissioners in Allegheny County, I know the importance of professional sports in Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. I am an avid fan of both the Pens and the Spirit, I know their value to our community. That's why I've been working with a corporate community in the past few months to purchase blocks of tickets. So now it's up to you, the individual fan, to show your support. So join with us in our willingness to keep the spirit and pens here by purchasing tickets. Let's go. Now we know that, that we have to go out and make sure this team stays here. I think right now it's in our hands. It's in the, players of the, it's in the hands of the players. Uh, we worked hard all summer, sold tickets. Uh, city came through with, with what Mr. Bartolo wanted, but now uh, I think it's in our hands because if we do well, we have a good season, we draw people, then we're going to be here for, you know, for another five years. For last season. Terlecki threw off the post and out. Off the post and out and hit the far post and kicked right back into play. Not once in their 48-game schedule were the Spirit able to put together more Terlecki than a two-game winning streak. Paul Child and a feed from Stan Terlecki. In the month of December alone, the Spirit lost eight out of ten games and had begun their nosedive. Four times in the next three months, the team had three-game losing streaks. The team had two definite problems, a lack of cohesiveness and a lack of team speed. Chris Wright set out to remedy that situation. I think um, one of the things that we attempted to do during the summer was not necessarily bring in just new faces, but we wanted to bring in new faces who would um, achieve certain desired results for us on the field of play. There are seven new players on the Pittsburgh Spirit this year, but most of them are not new to the league. In Fred Gergerev, Val Tuksha, and Helmut Dudek, you have players who have a combined total of 18 years of MISL experience. That's good, that's good. The newcomers on this season's squad include MISL veterans, forward Fred Gergerev, and defenders Val Tuksha and Helmut Dudek. 
Gergarev brings impressive credentials to the spirit. In his seven previous MISL seasons, he has totaled 506 points on 307 goals, both second in the history of the league. Well, I consider myself a team, a team player. I do whatever it takes uh, to help the team to, uh, to win the game. And uh, if uh, up to now, I guess it was scoring the goals and assisting them. Val Tuxia brings a lot of muscle and savvy to the back line. He has been a league all-star in three of his six seasons, and he was the MISL Defender of the Year in 1981-82. He's played on three championship MISL teams. Defender Helmut Dudik is a scoring machine for a defender. He has a cannon-like left foot and should make opposing goaltenders a bit shaky when he teams with Adam Topolsky at the other point. Dudek has scored 157 goals in his five MISL seasons and had an amazing 228 shots on goal in 1983-84. He's also a top-flight defender. The other two additions also came from the defunct Las Vegas Americans. Forward midfielder Nicky Klinkarski brings speed and leadership ability to the spirit, while Godfrey Ingram's speed will be a definite asset to the spirit. Well, a guy like Godfrey Ingram, you know, he uh, improves his speed every time I see him, he gets quicker, you know. All I'm looking at is the back of his jersey in practice all day. Ingram scored 24 points in 23 games last year for the Americans. I've got, you know, a little bit of a turn of, of speed. I don't want to talk too much about myself because it'll be construed as being big-headed, but um, I am quick. I wouldn't say I'm as quick as, you know, someone like Stan Selecki, but... You know, I'm quite sharp. Midfielder Charlie Falzone could turn out to be the surprise of them all. Even though he has no MISL experience, the 24-year-old Canadian has impressed quite a few people in his short time with the club. This young Canadian kid has a tremendous future in the indoor game and can come into our side um, as the season goes along and make a really good contribution. The Spirit feel they've gotten a real steal in goalkeeper David Bursick. The former New York Cosmo is big at 6'3", and possesses a strange style. However, his presence will give the Spirit a strong goalkeeping trio, which Bursick knows will help all three. Sometimes these situations work out uh, very, very well. You know, it makes all three uh, uh, people perform at, at their peak performances and I think that uh, can only be good for the team. And there's a strong group of veteran players returning from last year's team as well. You combine those veteran players with the newcomers and the spirit of 1985 are optimistic but cautious. You know, no real predictions but uh, if we go out there with a good attitude we have the talent to win games a lot more than we did last year. Goalkeeping will also be handled by four-year veteran Joe Papaleo. Each season, he has played more and more and should be the cornerstone for the spirit in the future. However, he knows he has to eliminate some bad habits. I think last year, you know, you make the big saves over and over again, but maybe the one where you really needed it, you know, wasn't there. And uh, I think we need to try to eliminate those bad goals and uh, you know, see a big improvement with our goals against and our wins. Good move by Nash off a shot, knocked down in front. Smith and Papaleo both there. Papaleo gets a piece of it. It's in front loose again. O'Hara this time able to return it. Peter Mavlik begins his third season with Pittsburgh and adds veteran depth. Although not flashy, Mavlik is probably more consistent. Four on three now. Plato with onside jungle was shooting. Mavlik makes the save of the game to this point. Defensively, Dave McKenzie and Captain John O'Hara return. McKenzie, now in his seventh year with the team, led the Spirit in blocked shots last season with 76. His role will be one of leadership. You know, you have to take a little leadership because you've been around a long time, but I think with all the professionals, it's really not hard to lead. I think when you have a team that's full of professionals and guys that want to win, I think it's it makes the job of leadership a lot easier. And I think, you know, there's about 10, 15 leaders in the locker room now. 
Right side off the board. Selected for McKenzie, who scores! O'Hara begins his sixth year with the Spirit. His game is defense and leadership. And he knows the competition at the defender position will be good for him. You're, you're everybody's a good player, and you know that you're going to have to do well to make a team and do extra well to, to, be, to play. But it, it is good. It, the competition's good, and perhaps maybe that's something that we've lacked in the past. Band off with a pass, and there's John O'Hara. How many times have you made the big play this afternoon? Former Rookie of the Year Kevin Marr begins his third year with the team. Kevin specializes in the shorthanded goal category. He's scored three in the past two seasons. Here's Kevin Marr, settles, settles, and shoots and scores. Adam Topolsky still possesses one of the strongest shots in the MISL. He scored 36 goals in his three seasons, and he's blocked 129 shots. Into the box. The ball is now into the control of the spirit. Earhart Cap is the swing man. He can play both midfield as well as defender. Last season, he blocked a career-high 64 shots. He will do whatever is asked of him. I'm naturally a defender, but uh, last year I was used a lot in, in midfield because of um, a defensive uh, marking position in midfield, hopefully to uh, break up the attack and go on a counterattack. Off the board, Sammy Pick. Bobo wanted the ball. Sammy didn't hear him. Now they give it up in front. Child, there's a goal. Good, a beautiful action. Good, Cup Cup. It's so important, good spirit. But something happened last year, and a once high powered offense dropped off by 20%. The forwards need to add a little more firepower for this season. Zeke Kapka had a drastic falling off last year, scoring 25 less goals and 49 less points. He will start out as a midfielder this season. Fellow countryman Ian Sibby scored six less points, but his 68 goals in two seasons is reason to believe that his scoring touch is consistent. One more rush. Sibby's down the left side. We'll get the ball. Sibby's on a run. He scores! The Spirit of Titan with eight seconds left in the third quarter. One of the most frustrated players from last season was forward Charlie Green. For some reason, Green fell into head coach John Kowalski's doghouse, and even though the team lacked speed and Charlie could provide it, he got only parts of 31 games to prove it. He knows his strengths. I think uh, my assets would have to be my speed, um, uh, because I think that's a big part of indoor, indoor soccer. You know, a counterattack, as most goals are scored on counterattack. And uh, physically, if you can beat the other team to, the other, to their goal, uh, you're going to have more two-on-ones, three-on-twos, and you're going to score more goals. Third-year man Dave Hagen also dropped off last season with 12 fewer points. He is Mr. TV, having scored on numerous televised games on the road. Just uh, honestly, I hope this year that we'd have more games on TV. I was thinking we'd see 20 games, 24 games, 24 goals. That's what I was looking for this year. Hagen also has a tendency to score more than one goal in a game. Eight times he did that last season. Leverage goes in the corner to Sibbies. Gets it back. Looking for Hagen with a chance. He scores. Leverage treats Hagen. They get the power play goal. They cut it to two to one. Marcio Leite is also having a solid preseason. His speed and ball handling ability are his strengths. But the darling of Pittsburgh fans is still the jumper. 32-year-old Paul Child. His scoring dropped off 27 points from the previous year. He will be counted on for veteran leadership. All I'm going to do is try and give 100% as, as usual, and uh, hopefully that will follow through to some of the other players and the younger players, and hopefully they'll all give 100%. And if we can all do that, I'm sure we'll have a very, very good season. And will we still see the famous jump following a goal? I hope you see the tremendous amount this year. I would like to see it twice as many times as you did last year. Don Popovic is the new head coach of the Pittsburgh Spirit, and he brings with him a winning tradition to this city. Popovic has coached for eight years. He's won four championships, and among all active coaches of the five major sports, Popovic is the winningest coach. Now let's meet the new head coach of the Pittsburgh Spirit, Don Popovic. Don, what do you think your strengths are as a soccer coach? Well, I think I, scouting before the season started, I find the right players to play this indoor game, uh, prepare them physically for the game, and... Um, uh, have some discipline there so everybody find a, their right position to play. So I will say 
pretty fair, strong disciplinarian. I like everybody to know their jobs and um, to sacrifice lots for sport. How was it to come into this situation and start with a whole new group of players for you, even though you've had MISL experience? Well, I've, I've been there before, and uh, I, I guess uh, most of the things I touched was the hard way, so one more time is going to be hard way. I think um, when I came here, I see lots of talents in this team. Uh, players like Mackenzie O'Hara, Paul Child, and his insurance that they have a tremendous talent there. We brought some good players like uh, Dudek, Godfrey, Freddy Grigorev, and I think a uh, uh, combination of the players that we brought and the players that are here will be a very competitive team. Where will the leadership on this team come from? From the returning players, or might some of the new players step to the front? Well, we have lots of players who uh, play for Spirit last year who are really good, like Paul Child, I just mentioned their names. They're leaders in the field. Uh, and off the field, but the players like uh, Freddie and uh, Dudek and those guys, they've been in the championship teams before, and I think they will be, they will helping these other players, so I think combination will be good. Coach, how is this team going to be different from the spirit teams of the past? I don't, uh, I don't know the spirit uh, team from the past that much, except we play against them, they're always tough opponent, but we'll have a really good competitive team because we have some new players that we brought here, uh, they've been before in a winning championship teams, and then players that we have here, uh, for example, uh, uh, Paul Child, O'Hara, McKenzie, I mean, they're really leaders in the field and out of the field, and I think combination of the players that we brought and the players that we have will be a very competitive team. How would you describe a Coach Popovic team? Is there anything special that sets it apart from maybe other teams? Well, uh, the only things that I can say that I like players who know their, uh, their uh, position in the field. I like, I'm a pretty disciplinarian in the field. I think everybody has to uh, uh, defend, everybody else to, uh, has to attack. I'm of those, uh, of those guys who um, like running game. Uh, and I think the uh, uh, team will be okay. We need some, little, some break somewhere and a little luck, and I think we'll be okay. Have you had a good training camp? We have probably one of the best training camps I've ever been involved right now in indoor soccer. I mean, everybody is full professional. They uh, do their job very well. Uh, we have no any major injuries so far. Uh, we look like we are ready to play right now. Uh, but then again, we have no game condition. We're gonna, we have now three or four exhibition games coming. That's where we're going to find out why of the team. As of now, the team looks very good. Everybody's ready just to play. I know that the league has improved a lot since you first came in the MISL as a coach, but how do you look at the uh, Pittsburgh Spirit this year and their chances of being a winner? Well, the league is probably stronger this year than ever because uh, failure of the NASL, all the players from there came in the MISL right now. Uh, some players who play study in our team, they have no jobs right now. So it's really competitive league right now. Every team in the league is strong right now. You can't go in Dallas anymore and say you're going to win it because you're going to have a hard time over there. So I think it's going to be strong. We're going to win some games and lose. But I think the uh, Pittsburgh team right now, with the spirit we get right now, with the enthusiasm what we have, with the, um, the players don't want to go home after practice, they want to stay longer and longer. And that's just the case. <laughs> and play the Burger King 40.